So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream with Life Peoples. It's uh, very early in the morning. Sorry, it's not very early in the morning. It's morning in the UK. And we're having a bit of a heat wave, um, but it's quite chilly in my little room because it's it's on the west corner of a north facing little cottage. And I'm going to have to put a cardigan on in a minute because I'm frozen. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what the temperature is outside, but I think it's a bit hotter than it is in here. Uh, but the dogs, of course, love it in here. It's always cold. It's, it's a cool house, bless it. It's a little tiny cottage, but it's quite cool. So I'm using most of these colours straight from the pan, rather than mixing. I've mixed a burnt carmine for the mushrooms because uh, I wanted the burnt carmine but it's a really nice set is this it has the, the light yellows it has the cool yellows um, and I'm trying to keep it clean I want to keep it as clean as possible so we'll see how we go and I think these are going to be like little yellow banners so and of course this is cadmium yellow so it's straight out the pot I wanted something that would be easy um, and I was outside for the last couple of days chilling out in the garden which I haven't been in for a while so it, it's a bit of a wildlife garden but it was it was quite pleasant and of course because it's a wild garden now all the grass has grown up and all the celandines and the the, the uh, all the weeds have come up <laughs> and um, the pond's completely covered in grasses, uh, so all the little creatures underneath are all hidden. Um, and the birds come, so it was really nice to sit there. It's like being in a meadow with a with a, an old pond, a wildlife pond. Uh, but it's my really really nice pond that's overgrown. But it was quite pleasant. Uh, and I wanted something easy to do as well. I didn't want to take lots of things with me. So I, I can manage to find again another easy way to work. So again that was quite nice. So I'll zoom in, in a bit. I'm just doing all these bright these bright banners so I can get them all done. And I think it's from the yellow ribbon so there's a few on this side as well so I'm just going to see if I can so you do need two water pots for this two big water pots because you need to keep your brushes clean because you don't want to contaminate or I don't so watercolour always really needs two brushes one for cleaning your br two pots sorry or a double a double potter this particular one is uh, quite nice because you can put your brushes which is what I did outside I put my brushes around the outside and you have two sides so one's for cleaning your brushes and the other one is using clean water for your next dunk kind of thing and that enables that everything's going to keep pristine you don't get messy if you've got two um, and although I'm doing for watercolour effects, the banner I'm not. The banner I'm just doing flat watercolour. But you can see these are so well pigmented. I probably will go back in there with a bit of a shadow later on. Um, and using just a damp rigger means things are not going to get too too damp. even though the palette is quite watery it's a quite quite a watery palette because I'm twisting to a point I haven't got a lot on the end of this this rigger and so and it doesn't release a lot it only releases what I let it so you've got a lot of control over your water if this was a fatter brush if you bend it whoosh all that water comes out because that's what it's designed to do it's designed to really give a watercolor effect and um, I get carried away but I really like I really like um, I didn't do this on this particular for for these particular uh, I probably should have done but I can change this and remember this is watercolour 
it will move, it will manipulate, it will do all sorts of other things because it's a watercolour. It, and it's not gouache, it's not acrylic, it's, it's going to behave itself like a really nice, lovely, soft watercolour. I don't know what made me do it thick, but <laughs> never mind. While I've got this yellow, I'm just going to go on to here and I'm going to do this and this is going to give me the highlight of, of a gold or a bronze or a brass and then I can I can go round it with something else. I haven't decided what colour to go in there, but if I've just done that now, that's my lightest colour. And I do have a, a bit of a baby wipe on the end here that I keep twisting so that that brush is very dry. Um, so we've got our swishy tail, we've done our toadstools, we've got, I think these are clouds or mist, so I'm not sure if I want to leave those white. I think if we had the dark forest, I think they'd look quite nice. Because there's lanterns. These are lanterns. So again, they're going to give off light. And we have our tree. And then we have some stalks or very large birds too. What else have we got on here? Sometimes you have to sit and study them for quite a while. There's quite a lot going on. I did like the idea of the flames. Again, I got, as I say, I got that from the dragon page. So sometimes, and again, that's dry now, so I don't have to worry about it. Sometimes you get ideas from other pages. Oopsie. So I love the reds and the golds and the yellows so I thought I wouldn't go quite as far as that but I'd make them kind of fox, foxy ones rather than, oops, just have a drink. Anybody got any questions? So thanks for joining me guys, hope everybody's okay. So there's lots of different trees and lots of different leaves. Now these are normally quite brown. These are like catkins. So I do have a, a nice brown on here. Um, and I'm working, as I say, fairly, fairly. Now I've got some blue in that. But that's quite a nice nut brown. But it's not what I want. I want... Um, Um, I, I am going to do a colour oops, a colour swatch for this. This one is raw sienna. Um, I did spray them a bit of spray, but it's kind of gone off a bit now. So that's raw sienna. So again, if I twist to a point, I haven't got a lot of water on there, and I could just give this. A color so what I'm I'm not actually working in that way I'm kind of putting the palest thing first the palest color first and then I can go back in there and do some shading and shadowing but I quite like this sometimes you just need to get some color on a page and then I'll I can go back in and get some shadows on there because now I've got a highlight so I need a middle mid tone and a darker one Let's see if we've got any more of those kicking about yep there's a couple here although they don't look exactly the same 
and again sometimes it's quite nice just to get a few things down pick off the things that are easy I'm a bit of a chicken very much a coward when I look at some complicated um, sorry not complicated but detailed when I look at a very detailed page I go into coward mode and I say I pick out things that are easy so we've got another couple of those down here so yesterday the paints were drying out quite, quite fast because I did sit outside and it was very very warm but quite nice to sit listen to the birds chirping and and I had some pe paints and uh, on a cushion tray so nothing too big and a water pot and and it was very pleasant and that's what colouring supposed to be a pleasant thing to do when it gets stressful when it gets competitive when it gets upsetting it's not it, it becomes a chore and it shouldn't be a chore um, and I did need to catch up because again I was a bit behind with pages because when I when I stop colouring I don't normally go do it somewhere else um, and I really want to do that because that means I'm only doing everybody else's colouring I'm not doing you know some creative colouring of my own just going to manipulate that just a little bit So I think these are like little, um, I might do that like a pink because we've got pink. Um, the fox, the fox's tail, again it's it's not easy doing a big space with a smallish brush to keep the page dry but there are ways to do it um, and I want to do that watercolour way so I'm using the biggest brush number three. Um, I could actually take the pan. Actually, I could take the pan out if I wanted to. And this particular one is called light red, and it's with the browns. It's not with the reds because it's a brownie red. Um, it's like a I would call nearly a brick red. Red, um, and I do have quite a lot of it here. So I'm reactivating what I've got. Um, so a big space, you need quite a lot on there. But again, if you're not sure, pick a space that's small. Now this is going to be a dead flat colour because I don't have the whole of that brush is covered, I think. so I don't want to go where it's light so I've now just got my very simple damp brush and I'm just touching the end so that's going to give me that watercolour effect that if you keep going it takes it lighter and lighter and lighter and you've got a beautiful watercolour effect with very little, with just a damp brush and again you do it again and we can take that here and remember it's watercolour so it's going to behave itself it'll blend beautifully because it's a watercolour but we don't want a lot of water we really do not want a lot of water and I need to bring that highlight down there so we've got a lovely nice highlight um, so I'm going to build backwards because I want to do this in small stages and again that's one of the yellow ones so we've got um, I must have used the orange
and then we had a red so I think it's uh, I think it was that red And you can kind of build up some really nice colours because it's watercolour. Watercolour will let you do that. And then with just a barely damp brush you can then go back in there. It's better to wait for it to dry a little bit and you can really really soften that so it looks like a beautiful soft blend. Um, didn't want the harsh yellow at the end. I, quite, I do like the uh, I did like that warm and it's not gone through because we're not playing too much. We need to leave that to dry now. What else can we do? We need to do the little flowers. Um, so I probably will use the liner for that one because it's a really tiny space. And we do have, I'm going to do, I think I might do purple actually. I don't know if I've got any blue on there. Um, again, it's nice to play, oops, if you're not sure, play with the colour. Is that going to be nice? You know, is that what I want? And you can go from, obviously with, with that kind of touch, you can go light to dark. So we've got this pink. So you start quite strong. and go paler. I kind of like that but it's very similar to the mushrooms so I would like something different. Um, have a look at this paintbrush here and I think this is a pretty blue very vibrant but it goes from nothing to very very pale. If you keep going it will go to the most palest of pales so you could pick something in between. Um, then we have this one which is Silelium Blue. So says Silelium Blue is already up here somewhere so that's a really nice soft one. Um, and it, it depends if you're doing bright colours then you might want a brighter one. Now that's a purpley one, so that's quite nice because that's something we haven't got. Let's see how it goes from dark to light. And only by playing like this, you know, it's a bit time consuming, but you can play. I think they'd look really pretty, that colour. But I do like that blue. I think we'll go for the purple, it's a little bit warmer um, but I am going to use the tiny tiny rigger sorry the liner, the very very tiny brush so we want, I'm going to use the spray and spray them again because I say we're having a heat wave in here so it's at the UK at the moment so it's quite warm I'm just going to spray them I would normally take that off your desk but uh, so they're all glistening now, they're all wet glistening. So that's going to be really nice pure colour so I'm just going to take the tip of a damp brush and what that's going to give me it wasn't damp enough. It's it's very warm here. We're not used to this. We're having a heat wave. So brushes are not, be <laughs> not behaving as you want them to. So I'm going to have to find a very fine a very fine rigger. That's quite a nice one, but it's got damage. Look, it's not going to itself. It needs a bit of manipulating. Mm, still not bad. Let me try that one. So you want a damp brush 
and you want the tiniest amount of colour. Yeah, it's it's just not working today. This is a half rigger. We'll try this. It's a small. It's a small um, two zero, and we're just touching a tiny bit of colour. It's not so bad. Maybe a little bit damper then. Don't take as much off. It's the weather though, definitely. So that's that's what I want. I want very dark in the middle, and then I want to push out the colour. That's what I'm trying to get. Um, so I might actually um, not with that particular brush, obviously. Do it with a different brush, um, and I'm actually going to use an older brush. This is what I did yesterday. Is to is to manipulate the colour mix with a different brush because it's it's not really you need to keep these little brushes for what they're supposed to be doing so that's that's perfect so clean the brush twist to a point on a baby wipe the tiniest bit and then you can manipulate that colour for a petal. Now I've done this before actually, but not for a long time. I think I did this on blue bells. So this is going to give quite a nice effect, I think. And I'll zoom in so you can see the difference. And that little tiny flower. And it is tiny. Oh, hi! Hi Topaz, sorry about that. It's not behaving itself. I think it's kicked a lot of people out. It's really not behaving itself. The sound went and then something else went. It's just not behaving itself you stream today. So I don't know if that's just the UK. Is it the weather? <laughs> not sure what it is. Might be my internet connection because it's a bit dodgy most of the time. So apologies if you can't if you can't get about um, I did lose everybody earlier. I don't know what happened. What I might do then, um, what we're coming up to, I'll do this for a, a couple of minutes, and I'll um, I'll reboot my system. That might work. Uh, but YouTube is definitely sorry. Ustream is definitely not playing ball today. And if we make a boo boo, we can go back in with a little bit of dark blue. It's just if you get that nice highlight, it's quite nice. And again, I like working in this little soft, soft way. And all I've got is, oopsie, Uh, twist to a point, touch the end, and then I've got enough to manipulate. Oopsie, it's a sheet. Uh, the other thing you can't do is mess about too much because if you do that, your paintbrush is going to dry, as I say, especially in this bit of a heat wave we're having. So I'll just do a couple, so tiniest amount, and this is a small, this is a half rigger. Um, the riggers were drying out too fast. As I say, we're just not used, I don't know if that's going to be maybe a green leaf, maybe. And we could have some paler ones, tiniest amount of colour. 
I'd forgotten how nice it was to work like this and again these these paints have inspired me to to work in this particular way which is perfect when it's warm weather and you just want to play and just with maybe that little bit more creative now I know these are going to be different colors but I just thought we'd have a bit of blue on here So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, so that's how I'm working. I'll pan out and then you can see how it's evolving. And you see they've nearly dried out now. They're only just a little bit damp whereas I sprayed them. So we've got our yellow bricks, um, the tail I'm using like a watercolour and the little mushrooms I'm doing the same thing as well. Um, and I'm making the flames which were inspired by... Oops. Where's the dragon gone? The dragon. Uh, so some colour book pages can inspire other ones as well. So that's my start of my fox page. Thank you for watching.